paragraph type page here and things says, always have a person on the turntable whenever the ladder's out of the cradle. Always have them at the pedestal at the back whenever anybody is in the bucket because the person at that particular location has the overall control of what happens with that ladder. If there are people in the bucket operating it, the person at the turner turntable can override them to get them out of trouble. Plus they have the best view of what's going on. If you're standing at that pedestal and you're looking up your ladder, you have a big view. The people in the bucket are focused on where they're going. They're not always looking underneath them. They're not always looking behind them. That's why I'm recording one of these days. Huh? Yeah, well, it's usually like this. <clears throat> Continue on? Yeah, just you might oh, as well. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately. It's all right. Yeah, because this will happen, I'm sure, all throughout the day. Yeah. So always have somebody whenever the ladder's out of the cradle. If you're not going to be there, at least hit the kill switch to prevent the ladder from moving. Um, they, they want that thing locked out if nobody's going to be there to override any potential movement of that ladder. Okay. So, so you're saying if someone's in the bucket and you're and I'm the driver, I'm leaving that turntable. You want me to lock them out before well, I step off? If you're in the turntable, yeah, we don't want to lock the people up. Right, that's bucket, what right? I, I yeah. misunderstood you then. No, yeah. no, you were correct in what you said, but no, that's not what I really want you to do. I just want you to lock it out if there's nobody around. Right, right. So right. You have the basket's empty. Okay. And you set the ladder up for rescuing people off a building or whatever, flow mm -hmm. water. And right. you're going to step away from the turntable, oh. lock it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that way you're taking away the possibility it might do something on its own, which would be bad. Okay. So if you lock it on the turntable, they will. If there is someone in the bucket, they will not have. To they move. will not be able to move it. No, okay. that is correct. And if they lock it out and you're at the turntable, you won't be able to move it. Okay. okay. The lockout buttons lock it out totally. You have three of them on your truck. You'll have one in the stabilizer area. You'll have one at the turntable area, and you'll have one in the bucket on this truck. And whichever one is locked out, you got to undo in order to make it move again. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, whenever you're operating, constantly uh, monitor loading and uh, adding things to your ladder. So make sure that you don't overload it or exceed its limits. Don't say you got four people in the bucket don't add five six seven all right because that isn't going to work too well so just m make sure you know what you're adding to it okay um, do not extend or retract the ladder sections with anybody on them there's nothing that's going to stop the ladder from moving and it, like i said it works at 3350 pounds of working pressure so your arms your head your feet your legs aren't going to stop this ladder okay and the edges aren't sharp, they're dull. So it's not gonna cut your arm off, it's gonna rip it off, which would be bad, okay? Um, aerial is designed for positive loads only, so don't set it on the ground or on a rooftop. Positive meaning letting the ladder hang on itself. If you back bend it, if you put negative pressure on it, you're gonna destroy the sections. They're not designed to handle that, okay? Okay, um, you should know the condition of the device before operating it. Do a quick scan of the uh, sections, the pins, the cables, anything that, uh, any moving parts on it, the water weight. Uh, make sure everything's in good working order, that you don't see any damage to it. Because if there's damage to it, it will probably lead to further damage. You want to know that it's in good operating condition before you put anybody in it. So um, check those things out um, when you're before you use it. Safety chains, man savers, anything that prevents you from walking off the turntable area should be in place before you operate it because it's easy to back up and, and do something without knowing where you are. You end up walking off the a turntable which is about a 12 foot fall. Okay. Not a good thing. Um, if you contact a high 
voltage power source to not touch the truck and the ground at the same time, that makes sense, because huh? you will die. Uh, always wear a safety belt when you're in that bucket, when you're going to be in the bucket for a long period of time. Because if we stop this ladder and you're not ready for it, you will most likely fly from one end of that bucket to the other and possibly out and die. It stops that quick. Okay, it doesn't look like it moving that fast, but it is. The uh, Clorox guys here. Okay, let's take a break. Okay, we will yes. take a quick break. <laughs> 